Oh, I hit him. It did something. Did you see that poison cloud it made? Oh, he came at me. Howdy, y'all. My name is Price. I'm coming at you with some Ark Survival Evolved. And this is a very special version of Ark. This is modded Ark. Oh, we're already leveling up. And that's uh, something I'll go ahead and talk to y'all about. Uh, I have adjusted a lot of the levels. I've added a ton of mods to this mod, uh, or to this version of the game, so that we can be playing a really cool, crazy uh, version of Ark. But the main mod that we are using is called Anunnaki Genesis. And this mod adds a bunch of crazy dinos with like elemental powers, and the maximum level is something like 750 or 900 or just something ridiculous. So uh, we're in for quite the dangerous time. We're also in for a little bit of a treat. But anyways, let's just go ahead and do what we like to do to start out. Let's make some stuff. So we actually start out with a pick and an axe. Uh, so I should be using those. Let's get a little bit more thatch. Okay, let's get a little bit more wood. Uh, and you'll already go ahead and notice some stuff. If I pop into our inventory, you'll see stack sizes are much larger. We have 102 wood in a single stack, stone 90 in a single stack. And our carrying weight is also um, increased. Or rather, it's not that our weight is increased, it's that the weight of items is decreased. Um, and that's something that uh, is just a more of a convenience mod than anything else. Um, because the default game does kind of have a bit. Oh! Is that a bear? Oh, I don't want to fight him yet. Mm -mm. So we need to find a safe place for us to uh, build a little base uh, that is the most protected from all these dangerous guys and uh, start getting us some dinos and things. If I can find a nice safe place to start setting up, then I can uh, start working on my engrams and things. Let's go ahead and let's do a couple of level ups real quick here. Let's increase our uh, movement speed. I like to have a nice good movement speed to start out with. And let's get a ton of these early Angrams because we're going to need a lot of this stuff. All right. Uh, cloth, yeah. Water skin, sure. Some thatch, sleeping bag, mortar and pestle, bed, storage, slingshot. Yep, all necessary. Narcotics. All right, and we're out of Angrams. All right. Now, I saw a big old Bronto off in the distance over there. Oh, we leveled up again, and that's going to be happening a lot. We're going to be leveling up a lot early on here because the um, XP rates are turned way up because, like I said, the maximum level is actually... Ooh. Oh, cool. It's a trike. Um, I wonder if I can passive tame. Um, so first, first and foremost, the XP rates are turned up because the um, level cap is so high, so it's... Uh, uh, it accounts for that. Oh, there's a Parasaur over there, too. Um, another thing, and I just alluded to it a moment ago, you can passive tame a lot of different dinos, which is actually going to help us out quite a bit, I think, early on, because um, we're going to be wanting to get several of these guys. Let's see, can I start passive taming you yet? Got to be level 10. Um, uh, because we're going to want to be getting these guys so we can get things like berries and whatnot at higher levels or at, at quicker levels. So let me quickly start building some cloth armor. Things are going to go fast early on here, and then I'm sure I'm going to run into some big old walls at some point. Um, now, what else could I make here? Uh, let's start crafting. Well, for right now, let's just stick with what we got. Let's go to our inventory. Let's grab these Majo seeds. Let's put those there, and let's increase a couple other things. Do that. All right, now crafting speed up a little bit. We'll wait on Angrams for a moment. Uh, you may have seen in the distance here, that's why I wanted to come off this way, uh, that there was also... Aha, here you see, there's a jug bug. Uh, the scorched earth dinos are also in this world. Ah, and that's what I wanted to show you. There's a, a moth up there. Um, so the scorched earth dinos are also... Wait, can I feed you? Take oil. All right, I'll take the oil. Didn't seem to have any. So we've got uh, Lymantrias. All right, need to be level 45 to passive tame them, but pretty much everything's passive tameable. <gasps> Jeboa! Hey, our first little guy! Jeb! What's up, Jeb? You're coming with me, buddy. All right. Cool. <laughs> So, passive taming is a thing, and that's probably how we're going to get our first couple of dinos because the levels are so insane. I was practicing stuff around while I was testing out some of these mods and uh, figured out that uh, a lot of the dinos are up in the, like, 600, 700, 800 range, and it's like, you can't tame that with basic narcotics and stuff. That's just not going to happen. You're going to have to fire, what, like 300 trank arrows to take down one of those guys, and they'll kill you in, like just looking at you funny. So, uh, you know, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be thinking a lot in this one. So, let's get, um, yeah, sure, let's craft all six of these. We're gonna probably need a little bit more thatch and a little bit more wood. And like I said, I'd like to get to around level 10 so we can start, um, taming 
that Parasaur over there, because the Parasaur is going to be a good, super early level um, berry gatherer for us. And we're going to want, excuse me, we're going to want a lot of berries uh, in order to make a bunch of narcotics. Uh, wait, let's increase a little bit. Um, more crafting speed. Let's get that up to 200%. All right, let's get some more Engrams. Um, yeah, we'll definitely need all these. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. Uh, wood, wood, yeah. Uh, standing torch is probably not a bad thing to get. Uh, what else? We got 46 left. Uh, Parasaur saddle, preemptively, I know, but why not? Gravestones are good. Uh, bolas, for sure. Rope ladder would be nice. Wooden door, wooden door frame, wooden ceiling. All right, and we're out. Okay. Are we level 10 yet? I think we might be. Let's see if we can't start getting this guy. What level are you? Level 370. Let's start taming him. Now, it shouldn't take too long. These guys get hungry again pretty dang fast. So I should be able to just sit here and follow him around. So I'm going to actually do this for a little bit. And uh, uh, I need to also look at what is the recipe. What does it call for to make the saddle? Parasaur saddle. I'm going to need some hide. So I'm going to have to find something I can kill in order to get some hide as well. So we're going to have to think about that. Maybe uh, one of these Lystrosaurs might be the first victim to go. What level are you? Level 280? Gosh. If I don't want to do that, I'm going to have to be pretty tough. Uh, or run him into a wall or something. But this guy being 370, that'll be super helpful once we have it. Oh, is he adolescent? Wild male adolescent. Aha, so he's small. So he's actually going to take time to grow as well. So he won't even be fully sized for us to be able to actually ride him for a little while. So that's another thing that these mods add is um, adolescent, juvenile, and infant, I think, versions of dinosaurs will be in the wild. So you're not only going to come across fully grown adult dinos. You actually can tame dinos that are, you know, somewhere earlier on in their gestation. So um, this could actually mean even more levels for us as long as we do the... Uh, um, caring for him a little more appropriately. Okay, let's see if I can't... I would like to see what level this trike is as well. Oh, don't don't get seen, because they, they can sometimes charge you. 220, okay. Oh, oh! And a dodo! Let's try and get both of them. All right, come here, bro. Let's keep them going. Now, the dodo might actually be the smarter thing for us to try and kill. Where'd you go, dodo? What level are you? 450. That's crazy. All right, come at me, dodo. All right, we're just feeding all these guys. And let's see if I can't kill this dude. See how long it'll take, basically. No. Sorry, bro. I need I need hide. You've got hide. And so it's just going to have to happen. Now, I know you're level 240, so it's probably going to take us like an hour. But it'll happen. Uh, we'll come back to you in a second. Actually, things heal pretty quickly out of combat now, I think. So I need to be thoughtful on this. I'm using this pick because it is a little bit stronger. I wish I could see his HP, though. My goodness. This might take a little bit while. Yeah, it might take a little too long. Uh, let's make a spear or three. Spear. One, two, three. Okay. Where'd that para go? Oh, there's another uh, dodo over there. Okay. Hello, buddy. So, uh, what level are you? 155. That's a little bit more likely to actually work. Come on. There we go. There we go. Is he bloody yet? I don't want to hit my para. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Got him! Okay, cool. Hide. Please give me enough hide. Come on. Oh, just not enough. I need 80, I think, for the saddle. But it'll be a while before I can actually use this guy with the saddle anyways, so that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, you can passive tame lots of these guys, but the real thing is going to come about once we have gotten past like the early game, and you're going to start to see um, that we're going to name him Percy. Uh, you can see we will see that um, there are oh, and he's he's 94% along through his growth, so that's fine. Wants care in three hours, so that'll be a little while. Um, that there are some crazy elemental dinos. There's all kinds of stuff out here. Um, so. Something that we'll have to be aware of and paying attention to. All right, let's go ahead and get to building a quick little shelter just so we can start to get progress made here. And we have more points to use. So let's go more movement speed. Uh, let's get a little bit of HP now. Uh, so can we get a bow yet? We should be getting pretty close to it. Yeah, there we go. And hide armor is also going to be really useful for us. Um, what else? Well, let's go look. I'll show you some of these recipes because these are the recipes that are um, extra. Uh, and so these are things that have been added. So I added a whole bunch of stuff so we can actually use uh, all of the um, Scorched Earth stuff. Uh, and there are ways to actually create a lot of the Scorched Earth um, resources. 
Um, there are ways in order to get element, because uh, since when you play solo, you can't actually do boss fights very well. Lots of other cool things. I'm just looking through here just to see any of them that are available to us at the moment. All right, so that's all of them for now. But uh, we will certainly get a lot of those uh, coming down the pipe. Um, let's see. What else? we got a large storage box. going to be necessary. We've got eight points left. Wooden ladder, sure. Okay. Now, I made a couple of foundations. Let's grab those foundations. Let's place those down. How about just like right here, right in the middle of this little clearing area? I feel like this area should be pretty safe for a little while, so we might as well um, build over here. Okay. And let me... Can I just get rid of these? Yeah, let's just... Oh, watch your poops. Pooping everywhere. All right. How you doing, buddy? You good? Wants care in three hours and his maturation. It's going slow. It'll be a little while before he matures, but he can still help us out. Uh, and let's search for walls. Okay. Uh, thatch walls. Yeah, let's go ahead and do thatches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's this new thing with the UI. You can actually go like this. You can type in how many you want. Let's make um, six more. Hit OK. And it'll craft all those. Now, do we have door frames as well? Yes, let's make one thatch door frame and door. And then we want ceilings. I don't know a thatch. Oh, because thatch is actually called a roof. Um, so we want six of those. Craft amount, six. Okay, so we're going to let that stuff grow. And let's just kind of take a look around and see what's in our immediate vicinity. This area over here seems to be a pretty... Um, serene, safe little area, which is nice because, man, are there some crazy things out there that we have to look out for. Um, but if we can even stick around here long enough to get that um, trike that's down at the end of the way, that could be pretty amazing. All right. Leveling up. What do we got? We want more health? Sure. Let's get more health for right now. We're level 19. I think it was 35 was what I need to do in order to get to the, uh, be able to get the trike. Oh, let's put on our armor. It's good to wear clothes. Uh, and let's get all of our different thatch items down here so we can build a little home. And then we'll start working on getting some um, mortar and pestle set up. So, uh, number six. Do, 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 do. Six. Do, do, do. Okay. Nope. Come here. No. Ah, oh, why you got to do that? Why you got to do that? And there's an item that I have that I can use later on to be able to pick up pretty much anything, but I don't have it built yet. Hey, buddy, I'm going to need you to uh, come over here, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, I need to give you probably some berries and stuff, huh? Let's get you these. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I heard something moving real fast, and I got scared. You never know when something will just come out of nowhere and take you out. All right. It's uh, going to need a little bit more in the way of thatch walls. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Added. And then let's go for... We'll have our door face this beach over here. How about that? And seven. And then three. So let's uh, let's be economical here. One, two. Are you kidding me? Why did you do that at the last minute? You were set up to do the right thing, and then you did the wrong thing. Ugh, it's so hard to find good help these days. Okay, let's do that. I assume that that's what I was missing. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay. Come on. There we go. And last one. Perfect. And then ceilings. Okay, we got ourselves a home. Look at that. Perfect. Now, oh, I'm going to want a ramp there. Do I have the engram for ramp? I do not. So let's uh, first health. I heard you there, Jeb. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Um, let's eat a couple of those. And let's grab these berries. We'll eat a bunch of these as we're walking along. I just need to be constantly thinking to keep myself fed until I have a bunch of meat to eat. Um, another Jaboa over there. What else have we got along the beach over here? Nothing too scary. There's that lime mantry that I would kind of like to get. What's the water looking like? Got a Megalodon. See a couple of other things out there. Maybe an Ichthy. Uh, don't want to get too deep out there because I'm not really set up for things. But the other thing is we have the new... Uh, updates for this game that actually add underwater bases and things, and that's something that I would love to get at some point if I can. So, uh, now, let's look into these Angrams. I would like a ramp, okay? Um, and what else can we get now that we're this far in? Let's see, Dino Gateways, Magnifying Glass, Bookshelf, um, Stone Foundation, Stone Door Frame, so stone stuff. 
Um, looks like that might be about it. Uh, preserving bin, that's going to be useful. Narc arrows, yes. Hide armor. Okay. Uh, we'll need the feeding trough soon. And then we have the refining forge as well that we're going to need. Do I have... There's another set of mods. Aha, yes, the HG campfire, the HG mods. These are great. Um, and so what these will allow us to do is a lot of things, but the big one is they can be picked up and moved around. So let us craft a campfire. But we'll make the HG one. It's a little bit better. It has a little bit more... Um, storage space as well. It's just kind of a more improved version of the default one. So we'll put that down, access the inventory. Let's drop some wood on there and let's cook up some meat because we do have a little bit of that. Okay. Um, and maybe we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, for now, we'll just use it for that. But then let's also see if we can't make a couple of mortar and pestle. So, because we do have some hide. So let's craft maybe three of these. Uh, oh, we can only craft three. So let's do that. And I know it wastes the hide that we were going to use for our, um, saddle, but mortar and pestles are so necessary to be getting and to get them early on as well so that we can kind of be planning for the future getting as much uh, narcotics and everything else made as we possibly can. Alright, so we don't have the stuff for making narcotics yet, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw the narco berries in here. We're at 30 hides still, so I might still be able to make some... Uh, Cloth. Yeah, I need gloves and shoes that I don't have. That could help us with this hot cold issue that we're running into here. Gloves, boots. Okay. And I need to eat some more. So, nine. Let's eat a bunch of those berries. I didn't know you're Percy. Are you male or female? You're male. Okay. So, you're good. All right. Let us just kind of look around at the end of the beach here. See what else we see while I continue to level up. I'm going to need to make a bed soon as well, actually. Craft. Not bed, not Ned, a bed. What do I need? A little bit more hide and some thatch. Okay, so I am going to need to kill something to get some more hide. Hopefully we can come across another dodo that's killable or something. Something easy. Anything? I don't want to start a fight with nothing big if I don't have to. What's that over there? See that? It looks like, looks like a rock. Is that a rock? Or is it a fish? Can't tell. I don't want to get too deep in here. There's some dangerous stuff in the waters. Watch your doing on my wilders. All right, let's look around for something that we can get some hide off of. Where are you hiding, dodos? I'm coming for you. I'm the dodo stalker. What is glowing over there? You'll see that? What is that? Okay, I got to go see what that is, even though it might kill me, depending on what it is. What the heck is that? Or is that just like the sun in the game just shining through from over there? It might just be the sun. That's so funny. All right. Uh, levels. Let's use our levels because I need to be constantly doing this. What level do I need to be for you? 45. Okay. Oh, is that a Morellatops? Ooh, what do I need to get a Morellatops? Morellatops would be fantastic. What are you? Juvenile Overraptor, level 45. Can I kill you? You're pretty low level, so I might be able to get some, some goods off of you. Some, some hide. Come on. Oh, come on. What do I got to hit you? There. Aim for the head, I guess. There we go. All right. Give me some hide. Ooh, it's a prime meat. My goodness. That's nice. Let's get this as quickly as we can. Wow, that's a lot of hide. All right. I need to eat. Uh, eight. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. 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 Really got to get some cooked meat going on. Uh, inventory. So we got a bunch of hide, so that's good. Can I could make the um, Parasaur saddle now, probably. I don't want to waste all of our hide, though, if it's not going to work for What is that? Is it raining? Oh, man. The storms are brewing. Let's see if we can't get some uh, some meat. And, yeah, I need to make a ramp to get up in here. Just a little bit easier, you know? Uh, cooked meat. Nice. Okay. So let's go back to this. Let's get some more meat in there. I'm going to keep half of it on me. And then we have... You can see prime meat actually stacks in this. Uh, so that helps quite a bit. Uh, you know, it just eliminates some of those issues that you have with base arc, where things get um, difficult to... Uh, acquire. Let's make a ramp. And then the other thing is, let us turn the gamma up at night. We're going to go up to gamma 3.5. Okay. So now we can suddenly see much better. And I'll do that most nights um, to try and make it so that we can actually see. Because I know for y'all, for me, I can see right now. And then for y'all, it's even darker. Because that's just what happens with YouTube compression. So uh, I want to make sure that y'all can see just fine. Fine, just fine. Okay. Pretty good. Got a moss chops over here. Let's go check on that morella top. 
because I really would like a Morella Tops. I mean, no matter what level he is going to be, that's they're one of the best berry gatherers around, man. They're so good, and they're so fast. Hi, buddy. Level 49. Let's start feeding you. 1% at a time. Oh, my goodness. And we are, we are chilled to the bone. I need to make a um, torch if I can. Yes. Uh, and we can just walk around and, and get this guy. I mean, he's level 490. It's going to take a while. But taming effectiveness is going great. Uh, let me equip this sucker. All right. Well, I think I'm going to do this for a little bit, but obviously I don't want to make y'all have to watch this whole thing. So I'm just following this guy around for a little while. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but I'll keep the record button going if something does happen in such a negative way. Um, but we're going to try and get this Morella Tops going because this guy could be really useful. All right, y'all. See y'all on the other side. All right, y'all, we're almost done. I've been cornering this guy in this corner for a long time. And there we have it, our Morella Tops. We're going to name her Matilda. All right, Matilda, we need to get you a saddle. So let me check my level ups and everything like that. Uh, the rain stopped eventually. Hello, Jugbug. Can I get you? Ah, just let me grab oil out of your butt. It's fine. We'll get you eventually. All right, uh, let's see what it's going to cost us to get the Morella Tops saddle. Uh... Okay, that looks right. Interesting. Learn on Scorch. Okay, so this one, I think this will work. So, let's see what it costs to craft it, though. Uh, sorry, wrong thing. Inventory. Searching for uh, Morella Top Saddle. We need some more hide. Okay. Follow me. You might help us fight something. Oh, there's a Jerboa that's going to... Oh, that's not a Jerboa. That's a leaf. That looked like a Jerboa. That was so funny. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, give me this. Come with me, sir. Oh, or ma'am. And uh, obviously, I need to use these as well. All right, we're level 26. But we got ourselves a Morella Tops. It's awesome. All right, Matilda. Let's find something that we can kill so that we can get ourselves some uh, some hide. I think you could probably take this Moss Chops. What level is this guy? This is a level 395. Mm. I need to make sure that you are on attack my target. Uh, we'll maybe take on that Moss Chops. He's a little, he's level 400-ish, so I kind of would rather look for something a little weaker than that. What did I just scare away? Oh, no, it was just a, just a Lymantria. All right, let's look up, aha, a Listro. Hello, Listro. 420, but get him. Wow, she's launching him. Oh, man. Oh, man, she's launching him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, bounce it off of me. There you go. Bounce it off of me. There you go. All right. Oh, we need to eat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we got ourselves some more hides so we can make the Morella Tops saddle. Crafting. Morella Tops. Boom. Okay. Inventory. Um, so now that we can actually ride a dinosaur, that's going to help us tremendously. Uh, let's increase our weight a little bit. Uh, let's get that saddle onto you. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. Now we can get as many berries as we possibly could need. And we can also fight things far more effectively. And so, what I think we'll do next, I'm going to try and build that bed. Because we definitely need that. What was that running along the ground over there super fast? Did y'all see that? What was that? Where did that go? I saw you. There you are. Is that a little baby over raptor? What is it? I think it's baby over raptor again. Okay. Yeah, you get out of my area. This is, where, this is my house. All right. Let's uh, break that tree down. Thank you. Okay, and you've got plenty of berries. We're going to put you on unfollow for right now. Uh, how are you doing over here, Percy? You're 95%. Come over here, Percy. Come hang out with Mat Matilda. Y'all are friends now? Come on. One day you'll be all grown up. Okay. Now, let us... Um, what did I want to make sure I made a bed? A bed would be a rip. Not a net again. A bed again. We need a little more thatch and a little more hide. Okay, so uh, you have a little thatch on you, right? Because you just got some. You got a ton of thatch on you. My goodness. Let's increase your... Oh, look at that melee damage. That's huge. Let's get you up to like a thousand melee damage if we can. <laughs> and then maybe we'll work on a couple other things. All right, let's go kill some stuff because we do still need to get some... Uh, you're not following me, right? We need a little bit more hide. So let's see, sir. Ah, Dodo. You, sir, are not in the right place. That one looks funny. All right. 
Let's, I just want to push it up against this rock over here if I can. Because they get launched. Oh my gosh! One hit! Matilda, you beast! Let's get that hide. All right, make ourselves a bed. And then we're going to go on a little adventure around this island looking for other things. Because we have we found ourselves a nice little uh, peaceful area to start out. But uh, things are going to get real dangerous as soon as we start stepping outside of here. So we've got to be careful about that. All right, hide is good. Crafting is not a net again, but a bed again. Thatch is what we need. Give me all that. Make that. All right. And let's get that in here in case we die, <laughs> because that is something that is quite likely to happen. But something that we're going to also need to get soon is going to be a, um, can we fit that in here anywhere? Could have sworn I saw a spot where it wanted to fit. Uh, I guess it doesn't want to. All right, well, that's fine. We can put it here. Um, come on. Why are you being so weird like that? There we go. That was weird. Um, so, uh, dying is something that will probably happen quite a bit. And there's a lot of things that we need to be working towards. We need to get uh, better armor. We need to get, uh, especially we need to be getting a lot of meat that we can spoil so we can make a lot of narcotics. So what I should be doing is taking a lot of this meat, spreading it out in my inventory so that it will spoil into um, spoiled meat a little bit quicker. So let's get that down and maybe we'll leave ourselves about, I don't know, 30? And we've got, what? Nine cooked meats on us. Maybe I should go see if I can grab a little bit more cooked meat off the fire, uh, considering we might be a little hungry. Let's grab that cooked meat. Oh, all of it. And I guess we'll just um, let's put out the fire for now. I need to waste the wood if it's cooked up all that meat. All right. And then we want to also always have like a little bit of raw meat on us for taming purposes. But let's go see what we can't encounter off in the distance over here. I can make um, can I make a bow and arrow now? I think I can actually. Bow. Let's make that. We're actually going to want two of those, and then arrows. Let's craft, well, all 24 for now. What's our limiting factor? It's flint. Let's um, go get some flint here real quick. And I would like to start making some arrows just for protection. It's not going to help us against m very many things, but uh, it can help us uh, the smallest little amount. Arrows. All right, let's craft. That's 30. Okay, and let's get a move on. So what else is around here at the end of this beach? If we want to look, if we look on the map, you'll see we're over on this little secluded island. So we're going to need a flyer or a water creature in order to get us over to that larger jungle land in order to find some more um, enticing dinos. But looks like we got a Bronto over here who we saw earlier. There's something glowing over there. Oh, and it's making noise. Oh, that's like a crazy dodo. Look at it. Well, I don't want to get too close because it'll murder me. Look at it. It's like an alpha dodo. You can barely see it glowing in the distance, but I can't get too close. You can see it right over there. That shiny little orange thing in the distance. And there's also, it looks like a bear. And that's a parasaur. All right, so we don't want to get too close to that one thing, because even at, with a level 753 um, Morella tops, I don't think that's going to save us from crazy Dodo of Doom. Let's get our movement speed up again. All right, we're at level 30. Not quite high enough to be uh, passive taming some of these things. Oh, there's Pegomastics all over the place here, so i got to be careful of those. Or those Trudons. Either way, it's stuff I don't want to be messing with. There's so many of them. I think those are Trudons. Yeah. Oof. All right, is that another, another Morel Tops? Okay, some Parasaurs. Jugbugs, Jerboas. Lots of the Scorched Earth guys we're seeing around. So that's cool. There's another glowy-looking thing in the distance over there. Look at that guy. Keep looking around a little bit. Little Jerboa is running around. Look, it's like a golden dodo. Look at you. Are you dangerous? Let's see if he gets all aggroed on me. I think these golden dodos are actually really valuable. Can I tame you? Wild golden dodo. Put taming food in last item slot to feed. Okay, he doesn't eat major berries, it looks like. What do you eat? Maybe a kibble of some sort? I don't want to... I don't want to fight it in case it, it murders me. Got to be careful about that. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of these critters. So I think, basically, here's the deal. I think that that, oh, you're going to attack me, huh? I think that the golden dodo, when you kill it, it um, gives you a whole bunch of really useful stuff. Yeah. I've been robbed. They stole some major berries.
this guy. I want to get as close as I can to hit him without breaking the, um, the wood. I've been robbed of raw meat. Oh, what? Maybe he only took a single one, though, not the whole stack. I hope. See if I can't kill this thing eventually. <laughs> That's the thing with them being such high levels. There we go. He was level 435. My goodness. Can you harvest? Hide and stuff. No, you can't. So let's get me some, get me some hide. Access inventory. You got anything? Nothing useful. All right. Gimme. Since you took some of my stuff. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. What level are you? Level 90. I need to be 35 in order to uh, get one of them. Because if we can find ourselves a nice high-level um, pterosaur, that's going to help us a lot. So that'll also be something we'll be looking out for. Okay. Yeah. Come back to this guy. Majos. Yeah, let's put some back down there. And inventories. Keep that going up. We'll settle on the beach over there. There's trike. Okay. Looks like a small one. Maybe it's a baby. Um, let's look around. Again, just exploring, seeing what we see. Cool looking uh, pteranodon over there. Jug bug on the ground. Saw that guy. Moss chops. Ooh, there's a... Therizinosaurus, I believe that's what they're called. The um, big dudes with feathers. They're like a T-Rex, but an herbivore. I got wrecked by one of those on stream the other day. If y'all watched me play stream, <laughs> you'd know. Uh, I heard something. No, okay. All right, we got Jerboas. We got Pterosaurs. Ooh, ooh, he's a fancy one over here. This golden one. He shouldn't be aggressive, I don't think. Oh, Therizinosaurus! Oof. Gotta be careful with those guys. They are real, real aggressive if you get too close. Like, they're fine until you get within their, like, they don't like you getting in their safe space bubble. That's really what it comes down to. I've got an Overraptor. I really want to see what this uh, flying, golden, shiny Pteranodon's all about. And that's the thing, y'all. That's what this whole mod pack is about. We are going to eventually be having some of the craziest, most interesting, psychedelic dinos ya ever dang seen. All right, y'all? So I think it's something to be really excited about. Right now, it's all about just getting us to the point where we can get to those, right? I need to get a regular flyer so I can get the ingredients so we can try and get to an even cooler flyer until we can start getting the crazy flyers. But like that golden dodo, man, there's part of me that wants to try and fight it right now. I don't want to lose our awesome Morella tops, though. <laughs> it's just it's too nice of a get this early on to have this high-quality, um, high-level... Um, Morella tops. Let's get some HP more. All right. What level are you, buddy? Are you that same one I saw earlier, like level 90? Yeah, you are. Still got a couple levels to go before I can easy tame one of you. But I can get some bolas, and we can work on that stuff um, in the future. Oh, and that's a tape jar. Cool. Yeah. Oh, something's mad at me. I hear the sound of combat. Oh, it's probably that crazy evil dodo that we saw earlier. We gotta be careful. So that's oh, there he is, the alpha dodo thing. Got to be real careful uh, not to startle any of the like crazy powerful creatures anytime soon. This Bronto, I'd like to use as a buffer. Could you please fight the Bronto before you try and fight me? Thank you. All right, what's this up here in front of us? Moving around. That was a Packy. I wonder if I can get him. Passive tame. Probably can. Oh. It's level 575. Hopefully they don't get too um, aggressive or angry at you. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy. I think I'm going to try and get this guy. So, uh, once again, I'll probably cut away as I continue to follow this guy around and try and get him to join us. Doing a lot of passive tames this episode, but we're slowly working towards being able to actually get um, some actual... Um, what do you call them? Uh, some real tames by getting some narco berries and narcotics going so we can actually get trank arrows. Uh, oh, and we saw a little bit of the flashing shadows in the distance. That is a current glitch in um, Ark that there really isn't much of a treatment for. Basically, you can turn off distance shadows, but it makes the game look really weird because there's basically sunlight everywhere except for where you immediately are. Um, so uh, we might run into that a bunch. If it gets really bad, then I'll turn off the shadows entirely um, just to avoid that. But uh, just know that going forward. Anyway, I'm going to keep following this guy for a little bit. Get over here, Matilda. 
and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get him tamed up before we, or she rather, um, before uh, we run into that dodo again. I'm gonna try and get in his way or her way. Oh crap, what are you fighting? What is it fighting? Oh, you killed that Utah Raptor, nice. Good job. I mean, I would have liked it on my team, but I'm more happy that you protected all of us. Wow, that's a lot of hide too. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's go. Gotta be careful. All right. Anyway, I will see y'all on the other side or if something eventful happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have just successfully tamed Patricia, the Pachycephalosaurus. Get your butt over here, Patricia. Let's get you uh, situated. Let's make sure you got some berries on you at all times. Let's get you some of these. Some of these. Oh, and it's starting to rain again. All right, y'all. Let's head on back home. We've got lots of hide now. We've gotten lots of level ups. Hopefully we should have some spoiled meat. Yes, we got a lot of spoiled meat so I can start getting some narco berries all getting up in there. And uh, we got ourselves a nice little uh, group of uh, dinos to start out with. You know, not, not a huge amount, but they're really high level, uh, which means that they're gonna be able to protect us really well in these early on stages. Bunch of dodos over there. Uh, and let's go check on Percy. How you doing, Percy? Where is... All right, so you're a little slow, Patricia. I'm gonna have to work up your speed. How you doing, buddy? You're at 96%, that's great. I need to make a feeding trough if I can. Uh, HG feeding trough, gonna need some wo more wood and a little bit of metal. So metal, hmm, that's gonna be tricky uh, because, well, I could probably get some on the beach. Hey, are you following me? Okay, you could stick with me because you're smaller. But if I hit some of these rocks, some of the ones closer to the water, the rounder ones, will, uh, from time to time, give you metal. So you kind of just gotta, oh, there we go. Get a couple pieces of that. What is that sound? Oh, you're both following me. My goodness, that scared me. Something was thundering. All right, other than the thunder and lightning. So crafting, let's try again. Feeding trough, we need two more metal, and then we need a bunch of wood, which wood is easy. No problem with the wood. Come on, metal. Come on, metal. And I'm gonna need to find a place around here that's got lots of metal soonish. It would be real nice to be able to find a source of metal that we can actually rely on. But uh, for now, we'll do what we can. Need a little bit of meat, a little low on food there. All right, I think I got enough inventory, crafting, uh, feeding trough. Yep, all right, let's get some wood. Come on, y'all. Do, 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 do. Wood. Okay, definitely enough. And let's make our feeding trough. And mostly I do this just for simplicity's sake and to give an easy place to get rid of all of our uh, extra berries and all of our other things that we make. So let's go ahead and drop this guy here. This is the HG feeding trough. So like I said before, it's one that I can like pick up and move around and all kinds of stuff. So it's just a nicer, easier one to work with. Let's move all these over, these over, these over. Uh, and then we'll also put meat in there as well. So let's transfer, transfer, and... Should have some more. Ah, yes, these guys. And let's also drop half of our meat in there. And let's also make a little bit more of this stuff. And now I need to just grab all the narco berries. And let's get some uh, narcotics starting to be made so we can eventually have trank arrows. Because we're going to need to, if we're going to want to get a uh, predator anytime soon, that's something that we're going to have to do. So, how many narco berries you got on you, buddy? All right, let's take that. And that's why you get yourself a Morellatops or a Triceratops. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yikes. I'll need to stay there. Um, early, early on, as soon as you can, because that'll get you so many berries. All right, crafting. Search for narcotics. Boom, craft them all. Uh, and so these take a while to grow, so that's why you want to do it as quickly as you can. Oh, didn't mean to close the door. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Um, hold on. Ride. There we go. Just needed to do that. Okay. Patricia, let's go. Get y'all over here. Come on, Patricia. Patricia! Patricia! Come on, Patricia! We got places to be! Thank you. Okay. Oh, the other thing about the HG feeding trough is it has a larger range. It's not a massive range, but you can see that they can actually feed from it from all the way over here. Helps uh, just to make it for when you have lots of dinos um, that they'll all be taken care of well. All right, let's get our one bow. Let's, let's move some stuff around in our inventory, right? Bow should be number one and number two and spirit number three. And then we have our hatchet 
here and here, and we don't need the torch on our bar. And then food, and we're good. Okay, crafting. Now, four hide armor. We can make all of it, so let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Um, what else are we gonna want soon? We're gonna wanna build a smithy soon. That's one of the um, things that kinda launches you into the next area of tech. We can learn it, so that's nice. Oh, we're gonna want that one too. Um, and let us close out of there. And let's look at where we're at as far as gear goes. Yeah, metal stuff we definitely are gonna want. Let's go down to our HGs and look at these. What's new? HG Trank Pike. It's a pike that actually does tranquilizer damage, so that's gonna be really useful for us. Um, any of the stuff from Scorched Earth that we're gonna wanna do? There's a specific, um, this. The SE Plus Crafter I need to put down. So what is that gonna take me to make? SE, uh, we need metal ingots. So that's the thing, uh, it's basically like a crafting bench for making Scorched Earth stuff. So that's what it's gonna be useful for. So we just learned how to make a smithy. Um, now what does a smithy cost us? Metal ingots, right, so we're gonna need a refining forge. Do I know the thing for refining forge? I don't, so let us learn refining forge. Okay, so let's make us a refining forge. Crafting, refining forge. Yeah, let's make one, let's make two. Uh, and what did that use up mostly? Ah, hide. Hide is what we mostly lost there, which is fine. We now have guys that are strong enough to effectively get us some hide from time to time. So let's take these forges. Ooh, you know what? Our, our space in here is becoming a little limited. So maybe what I should do then is let's make a couple more uh, thatch foundations. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll put it on the outside. And there we go. Okay, cool. So eight. Let's do a little bit of this action. Okay, and here, and then seven. Let's put these right up against the back wall here. And then this way, it keeps on the outside for us, and we can still use them easily, but it's not taking up space inside. And we're gonna change the uh, exterior of this to be stone or wood relatively soon, I think. But I think what we could benefit from now would be going and looking for, ooh, let's get your health up a little bit. Oh, you gain a lot of health, that's great. Um, and E2, health. We're level 38, we're level 40. Yeah, nice. That, that increases quite a bit. So like I said, the upgrades, as far as our level goes, is gonna go pretty quickly, but that's not really what the mod pack is about. This mod pack is really about uh, getting all the higher level dinos and everything else. So let's head back in this direction and mostly what, actually, you know, let's head this way because I'm mostly wanting to scout out areas where we can get a bunch of metal because um, that's definitely something that we're gonna want. And if we happen, to run into some critters that we can tame. Maybe we'll try it out. We don't have any, for right now, any narcotics that we can use. Uh, oh, there's a Dilophosaurus over here. He looks pretty big. Where's Packy? Or Patricia, rather. Our Pachycephalosaurus, there you are. I really need to upgrade, increase your speed, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep up with the Morelotops. Okay. But you're gonna help us fight, so it's all good. All right, let's go kill this Dilophosaurus. I worry about him uh, coming at us. Ooh, he's like crazy white looking. I hope he's not like a super powerful one. Oh, there's metal right over there though. Okay. I'm afraid to attack this Dilophosaurus because he's kind of big, but at the same time, I'm feeling confident with our levels. Let's give it a shot. What are you? Get him. Get him. Oh my gosh. Can't turn fast enough. Come on, Patricia. You can do it, Patricia. Patricia and Matilda. Matilda and Patricia. Fight this jerk. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, fight me. Come at me, bro. Come on. Go, Patricia, go. Go, Patricia, go. Come on, Dilophosaurus thing. Yeah, oh, you're wrecked. You're gonna get wrecked. Ooh, ouch. Die! Elite Dilophosaurus. Dead. Nicely done, y'all. Okay. Oof. Elite. Did you have any anything in your inventory? Nothing in your inventory. Okay. Nice, dude. Well, it gave us a little bit of hide, but more importantly, there's some metal over here. So we're going to get us some metal. Ooh, what's in this? What died over here? Torch, huh? Well, we'll take it, I guess. All right, let's go get this metal over here. And so that's the kind of stuff. Like, that elite guy right there, honestly, if... These guys weren't so high level. I probably would have been in a lot of trouble, but we lucked out with these guys being so uh, so good early on. All right, let's get a bunch of metal. How much metal can we get? 
Not a lot, because we're using a crappy pick. But once we can get a smithy, and once we can get some metal tools, this will work out pretty well. And uh, I saw another one of these metal um, uh, nodes just around the corner over here to the left. So we can do that in a second as well. So let's eat some meat. We're a little low. Ooh, this is lasting a while. This is a good little node. All right. I mean, if I can get up to 100 off of one, then that's going to be a pretty big deal. Okay, there we go. 80? Not bad. Let's go put this in the, um, what do you call it? In the uh, refining forges. What are you fighting over there? Regular Dillo? Um, now, oh, I don't know if I mentioned which map we're on. Uh, we are playing on the center map. Uh, the center is a map that was made, I believe, as, you know, just a, a fan-made mod that was such a good one that the creators of Ark decided to um, essentially um, make it an official DLC map. Uh, and so it is one of the uh, three major maps that are available with default Ark. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I've never really played much of it, so I thought that that would also be a fun thing for us to um, kind of experience together. All right, let's do this. And I need to put on my new hide armor, actually. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're teching up. Oh, we're growing a beard. I forgot you actually grow facial hair and stuff now. So I need to, uh, I can get some scissors if I want to cut that, or I can just let it grow. All right, let's get some, some wood going. I bet you the Morella tops, Matilda has some, uh, some wood as well on her, but that's fine. Let us do that, light it up, do that, light it up, we'll get that stuff going. And how are you doing over here? Patricia, let's get you again. Oh, your melee damage is so high. That's great. You do need some more health, though. Oh, your torpidity's not... Do your, wow, the torpor was way up there because of that elite Dilophosaurus. Uh, Anunnaki Poison Arrow. Oh, you must have gotten that off of the, um, the elite. Let's take that. And the cooked meat. And this. I have three Anunnaki Poison Arrows. How much do these do? High effective poison arrows to knock out smaller foes. Interesting. We might want to try that out. While we wait, how many narcotics do we have? We might be able to uh, go ahead and do some. All right, I need to make some more spoiled meat. Oh, we have 50. Yeah, let's go for that. Crafting and narc and craft all of those. But let's make a couple of trank arrows. Let's go for, say, 35. Actually, let's go for probably 50, now that I think about it, honestly. And then regular arrows, we can fill that out for the rest. So we'll have 50 of each. And we have these three Anunnaki arrows, so those might do extra poison. I don't know, actually. I'm intrigued now. I want to check the uh, Anunnaki poison arrow. Highly effective poison arrows to knock out smaller foes. Okay. And then, oh, and there's different levels of them, too, it looks like. Anunnaki workbench. Aha! Place to make the most powerful Anunnaki items. Interesting. It looks like I have to build it in a smithy. So there's an extra workbench that's going to allow us to make some Anunnaki-type items. Good to know. Uh, I was unaware of that, but it makes sense. Um, so we'll have to do that soon. But we're going to see how well these other, uh, these regular Trank arrows and these Anunnaki arrows work on something over here. Try not to go for anything too big, but, you know, we want to test it out. Let's break through. Man, you're the best. Okay, so let us, let's go explore over here like we were saying earlier. Go check out this area um, just, I believe, south of us. If I think about, let's look at the map. Yeah, kind of south of us. And uh, see what we can't find here. Oh, and let's level some things up. Morella Tops, Matilda, you are going to get up to 10k HP and then more uh, of that. Yeah, and then me, I will get me some more HP as well and a little bit of stamina. We're going to wait on Angrams, because right now, since I'm slowly working up through the tech, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to go ahead and get all the Angrams if I don't necessarily need them right now. Oh, there's a bear. That's right, I saw him earlier. Oh, boy. So here's the question. Do I start a fight with a bear and potentially die to try and get a bear? Or do we start small? Because he could be, like, level 10. He could be, like, level 100. So that's where it kind of comes down to. Or he could be, like, level 500, <laughs> as we've seen. All right, you two. Stay here, okay? Just want you to stay there. Oh man, it's so passive, huh?
This is such a dangerous game I'm playing. Where's he at? Where'd he go? He was right over here. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm trying to find a place where I can maybe hide. Where I can kite him from. You dig? Oh, I hit him. It did something. Did you see that poison cloud it made? Oh, he came at me. Okay, let's run around. Oh, shit. What level is he? Oh, he's level 165. Yeah, he wrecked me. Oh, no, my Jabola. Oh, I forgot about Jeb. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's going to happen from time to time. We're respawning back at bed. Now, I have, both of my guys are now in passive, so what I worry about is him attacking them and them not doing anything about it. But it looks like I'm okay. All right, so we're going to go... I think we can wreck his face, though, with the Morellatops and with our Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, us taking down anything uh, that is um, a carnivore. Let's see. Whistle neutral. Whistle neutral. Uh, whistle attack my target. Uh, anything that is a um, carnivore that is going to require us to actually tame, we're going to have to get to a point where we can actually uh, use uh, our um, some, use some higher level narcotics. And there are a few in the mod pack that we'll be able to use once we can build some guns. So that's probably what we're going to be working towards is getting one of those. Okay. Killed him. So I should be able to get all my stuff back, right? Oh, come on. Oh, you don't have anything on you? All right, so that must be inside of you, maybe. Uh, I will check. But let's get rid of this guy. Ooh, we got some pelts. That's good. Too bad about not being able to get the bear, but I, I think that we're using regular trank arrows. It was going to take us a while. I would have had to have gotten myself into a much better position. I also need to find a place where I can get some crystals so I can actually make a, um, let's see, bow cloth boots, huh? All right, where's my body then? Is it around here? Is my little, uh, there I am. All right. Let's take all this stuff. Do, 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 transfer all. What? Why is it not showing me anything? There's definitely stuff on your body because it's my stuff. I guess I need to use maybe, there are some mods on here. So let's return back and I will, uh, look into them. The gravestone is something I believe you can use, and then you use that, and then you can reaccess your old inventories. Um, so that could be what's happening there. Uh, or it could all just be gone. Who knows? But there was nothing on my body. Uh, but maybe that's what we're going to call it for this episode. Um, I feel like... You coming? Uh, I feel like we, uh, we got some stuff done. We explored some things. Mostly, we've just been building up some infrastructure, but uh, we got a little bit of a taste for the kinds of wackiness that are in this mod pack. Mostly the crazy high-level monsters. The uh, golden dodo. We saw we saw that one shining, glowing pteranodon. Uh, and uh, a couple of other, like the alpha dodo or whatever that was running around. So there's uh, there's some crazy stuff here. But y'all see, once we're... Uh, once oh, that's okay. I thought that was like a Dilophosaurus running at us. Um, but once we get to the point where we are um, able to fly around and see stuff, hopefully next time we'll be able to get ourselves a uh, pteranodon, uh, then we'll really see... Uh, what Anunnaki has uh, in store for us. But with all that, y'all, my name has been Price. Hold on. Oh, oh, goodness. We're naked. We're naked. But let's get let's get the family together. Let's uh, let's get everybody together for a picture. Come on, y'all. Come on. I know. I know. You don't like having to take pictures. It's fine. Okay. Let's clear out some of these trees. It's got to look nice, you know. Get that out of here. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Okay. And let's just kind of. Get you all turned around a little bit. Morellatops need to learn how to turn a little bit better. Okay. And Patricia, can you follow me, please? Come on. Yeah, right over here. Thank you. Come on. There you go. And let's just kind of do, 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 do. do one of these. Okay. Yay! All right, y'all. Well, with all that, thank you all for watching. If you like yourself, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price. This is Percy and Patricia and Matilda. 
and we will see y'all next time.